You're watching Breakfast Television on City TV. The Calgary Flames are going to retire Jerome McGinley's number 12 on the 2nd of March. Rhett Warner joining us this morning from Boomer and Rhett, the morning show at Sportsnet 960, The Fan. And Rhett, you know Jerome very well. Uh, played a bunch of seasons with him here in Calgary, played against him. How do you feel about his number being retired? I feel it's about time. I wish yeah. he was still playing, and he probably does too, but uh, in all reality, he's one of the best Flames ever. Yeah. He's the guy that kind of carried us on his back to a finals and uh, in a game seven, and which we prayed to win and couldn't yes. quite do it, but he's done everything for this franchise, and uh, I think there will be a lot of people excited to see that happen. And an ambassador in the city of Calgary, too, with so many charities he was connected with. Not right? just Calgary. Yeah. I mean, he did do a lot of the charity stuff in the city because he played here, but he was an ambassador for the game all across the league. I mean, there was so much put on his back that he had to deal with, aside from going out and being one of the best power forwards to ever play. So we forget all the stuff that he did. Uh, he was always involved in doing the right thing and never complained about it. Let's talk about that 2004 playoff run. Do we uh, have to? Yes, we can, we can. I mean, the positives of it, of course. There seemed there were many times that uh, you guys were just exhausted physically and mentally, but he seemed to just step it up yet again, right? I think he... It, it happens more now where guys take better care of themselves. Yeah. Uh, but he was kind of at the front runner of that yeah he always took care of himself he knew what he was putting into his body we used to go eight eight pounds of spaghetti and maybe that wasn't <laughs> quite the right thing so i think that made a difference but you're right the, we had a bunch of injuries that run and a lot of us got fatigued and tired out and jerome just kept going he was the energizer bunny he was for sure okay and that was when you were playing with him what was it like playing against jerome mcginla not fun i remember <laughs> fighting him in junior hockey really yeah i held on real tight so that was good <laughs> and then uh i remember cross-checking him in a game here oh boy and i cross-checked him the puck came and he tipped and it still went in really and he looked at me but then he'd scored, so he forgot about it, so I was very happy that he <laughs> carried on. So, uh, he would have come back was, at you pretty quick, right? The, the thing about it was he had skill, but it was his compete that set him apart. Yeah. And everyone will say the same thing. Uh, it was a, You couldn't outwork him. And when he wanted to score, it was like, well, you can't stop him. He's the bull, and he's going to take it to the net and find a way to do it. So. Yeah, and he was the leader, too, in the dressing room with you and so many players like you. And what was that like, having a guy like Jerome Aginla as the guy to kind of look up to? Well, speaking of the 0-4 run, you trusted him when he said, like, before games, he didn't say a lot, but yeah. he'd talk a little bit, and you trusted what he said was going to happen. And you trusted that when he went out there, he would make it happen. I mean, you look back to the Vancouver series, he made plays that nobody else can. Wow. And then the, the, the game five, everyone talks about that goal where he just, he was out there for two minutes and didn't slow down, and over time, it was like, he's going to make it happen. So I still get goosebumps thinking about it the fact that we didn't win because i truly believed he wasn't going to let us lose mm. and just his will alone was going to get us there oh fond memories there you go jerome again the march 2nd the calgary flames are going to put number 12 in the rafters well deserved as you're saying a lot of people excited about this one of the most popular flames ever right when didn't he smile yeah you go up to people come up to him all the time in yeah. public and he'd shake hands and smile at them and spend time to the point of dis distraction for himself <laughs> we had guys that come up and sit with us at suppers and they wouldn't it's like you would sit in at a restaurant the food would come out and the guy's still sitting there well jerome's too nice to say get out of here <laughs> so regeer would regeer had no problem <laughs> saying that. he was the he was the enforcer for jerome yeah i love it yeah as if the guy needed it right there he goes my hair by the <laughs> way it's a little it right? full disclosure he <clears throat> came in with a toque on and we took it off right before we went. This is the voice of radio, right? Good to see you, my Face friend. Face for radio, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing your memories about Jerome. Really appreciate it. March 2nd, again, that's when the Calgary Flames are going to be retiring again, Liz Jersey.